Hello, in this video I want to share a few quick tips and tricks. Um, so let's get started and take a look at the first one. So this has to do with placement of static meshes. So if you want to move this box here, for example, to the other part of the, the world, somewhere over here, this is probably what you end up doing. So another way of getting this box from here to back again is to hold down shift key and then you can drag this so it feels like you're piloting this box here and it's just a quick way of keeping your camera fixed to that same position relative to that box that you're moving or whatever you're moving so there's a quick basic tip uh, another one also pretty basic is the use of copy and paste. So when you copy something, for example, like this, you press Control C and then you press Control V. So there's nothing fancy about that. Uh, but what you end up probably doing is uh, quite a few times is press Control V and Control C like this, and you will end up with it here and you have to move it afterwards. So let's say you wanted to copy this and you want to move this up to the top this is maybe what you end up doing. Uh, so instead of that, uh, what you can do is to copy your stuff, find that place on your blueprint that you want to have it, and with your mouse point where you want it to be, and then press V, Control V. So it's just pasting uh, using the fact that it's going to paste wherever your mouse is. So uh, pretty basic, but still very useful. So let's move on to a different one. Um, this has to do with organization. So you might end up with something looking a little bit like this and it's kind of a mess. And especially in early development, you're gonna have something looking very much like this. And then as you go on, you might end up selecting parts of your blueprint and, and collapsing the nodes to a node or to a macro or maybe putting stuff in the function and so on. But that's going to put stuff in separate parts and you're going to end up uh, tab shuffling back and forth quite a lot, which can be quite annoying. So in case you want to keep this layout here uh, a little bit longer, um, what you can do instead is to create smaller uh, custom events. So in this case, I have my event tick and it has a sequence of uh, stuff that's going on. And let's say I wanted to create a debug statement. So normally I would just drag down here. I have a debug statement somewhere here. And I could connect that up to this print st string here. Uh, instead of doing that, uh, what I like to do is to create a custom event here. I name this event tick debug. And then drag from this one out. Like this. So that allows me to take this event tick custom event and drag that down here. Now I can take whatever I want to debug print and put that down here. And I still have my debug print statement on the event graph, but I don't have this long line going all the way down here. Looking at the name, I can still see it's an event tick debug. And if I search using the find, I can see that I have an event tick and I have an event tick debug. So it still makes it pretty easy to find whatever is going out from here. And also navigating to that custom event. It's just a matter of double clicking it. Right. So let's see another tip which I also found pretty useful, is a way of passing variables from one actor to another when I'm spawning them. So when you use the node spawn actor from class, you're gonna have these four uh, pins that you can connect up to begin with. So depending on what every class you select, you're gonna have more or less pins. And a way of, for example, we have an example here with the BP motion controller, uh, we can pass in a hand and uh, in this case a my character. So we have two additional pins that we can connect up and a way of exposing them during spawn or construction is to go to that uh, blueprint of that class 
and then selecting for example the hand you can see and here we have expose on spawn set to true i believe you also have to set this editable but at least it threw a warning when i didn't have it so anyway this expose on spawn allows us to uh, pass in that variable so what happens when we now select bp motion control is that this list of pins that we can pass in is going to be expanded to include the hand and the my character as well so that's just an easy way of passing in uh, variables during spawn so that was a few um, quick and easy tips i wanted to share this time here nothing fancy but still i hope useful so thank you for watching and bye